two point charges are placed on the x axis as follows so we have a q1 charge so let's make the coordinate axis first we have a charge at 0.2 meters which is over here and here we have q1 we have a charge at minus 0.3 meters which is q2 which is over here and we have to find the magnitude and the direction of the total force which is exerted by these two charges on the negative uh, charge q3 that is placed in the origin so at the origin we have a q3 and we have to find the magnitude and direction of the total force and this is a negative charge so uh, a q q1 is a positive charge q2 is a positive charge and q3 is a negative charge so this is going to be an attractive force over here an attractive force over here so whatever is uh, uh, whichever is higher that's gonna win and that will the direction will be over to that side so this can be easily find out the value of f1 is gonna be q1 q3 k q1 q3 over 0 0.2 square so k is 9 times or let's keep it k q1 times q3 what is q1 that's 4 nano coulomb what is q3 that's 6 nano coulomb and uh, nano and nano will become uh, nano means 10 raised to minus 9 so that will become 10 raised to minus 18 over 0 0.04 because 0 0.2 square is 0 0.04 so this is going to be uh, 24 over 0 0.04 which is nothing but 600 so we are getting 600 k times 10 raised to minus 18 and likewise the value of f2 is going to be k times uh, q2 5 and q3 is definitely 6 times 10 raised to minus 18 over 0 0.3 square so this is 6 times 5 is 30 so we have 30 over 0.3 square is coming as 333.33 so that's 333.33 k times 10 raised to minus 18 so definitely f1 is greater so the direction is right towards right uh, that is the direction of the f net which is going to be f1 minus f2 so we can easily subtract this so 600 minus this value is 266 point and that's multiplied this by k as well so that is 9 times 10 raised to 9 so we are getting 2400 times 10 raised to minus 9 minus 9 so this is the final answer